Wow, you look um, a little different. Yeah, we've got a lot to talk about. First, Marie Puya and Lean, uh, Lean, uh, awesome movie. Thank you for the time. Thank you for the interview. I know, I know we're really busy early in the morning. I want a lot to talk about, so I don't know how I'm going to put this in 20 minutes. So um, I think, let me start first with Marie. You know, why, what motivated you to, you know, come into this project in such a powerful project, such a powerful narrative? There, there's so many methods that were, were involved in it. So what motivated you to work on the project? I, I had always wanted to direct the future ever since I was in high school, but everything that I had written was so like budgetarily out of the range for first time director that I um, I really felt like it would, it would be, it would serve myself to spend time working with actors and really working on dialogue and, work, and learning how to actually direct. Um, and at the time I was going through a lot of my own questions of femininity and womanhood and what does it mean to to be a woman in America and in society it wasn't mean to be a mother in society and uh, work life balance and and basically the script with my co writer Kristen Uno it sort of served as art therapy for both of us. And then, as all great things as you're writing it and these characters start to come to life, then you really start to fall in love with them. And then you feel really awful when you ruin their lives. But uh, but you just, you know, it 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 became that thing where where we really felt like the story needed to be told. It was a story that hadn't been told before in a format that that hadn't been hadn't recognized uh, people of color really in, in a lot of ways yet. And we felt like it was it would be really neat to shed a light on that. Um open questions. I'll put a question for Lean and for Puya because I have a, a, lot, of, a lot of questions to, to give to, to Puya. Uh, how much, I mean, what was your first reaction when you came into the project, you saw the story, the show, the narrative, how intense this thing was gonna, give, gonna get because it got really intense and, and I absolutely love that part. So, you know, how, what was your first reaction when the two of you saw the script? Uh, hi, we're like, th this is how we are. Uh, uh, hi, well, I, the first time that I saw uh, as an actor, it, it is an actor's dream, you know, to be able to really do those things, get, get, get emotional and get angry and be in love and out of love and all of those things. So as an actor, it, it was a dream. Um, the bigger question was, who is going to uh, be my scene partner? And how is this going to be directed and the environment? Because I'm sure Lynn has her own stories, but sometimes you get a story that's great, but the team or the direction doesn't do the story justice or not everybody in the team quite understands the gravity um, of the story. But when I got it, I fell in love with it. Marie knows how much I loved it. I, I felt it, I could feel it in my heart, the, the soul of the story. Then I met Lynn. I fell in love with what she brought into it. So then I knew I'm like, okay, this is gonna be amazing. Then the rehearsal started and we just kept getting to know each other. And the fact that we, the way we work and the way we work together and the way everybody around us from Marie to Kristen to Mia and the whole team, how they would nurture us and embrace us and give us the help we needed to be able to do our best. So, to answer your question in a short, it was amazing. It was like, I knew it was gonna be intense, but if I was gonna do something intense, this was the best team to do this kind of story with. Lean. Yeah, I mean, when I received the audition for See You Then, even just having a script and um, some sides, which are the audition sides that you read for the audition, uh, I already knew that this project was going to be extremely special. And, you know, I, I watched Mari's short swim and I immediately knew that she was the type of filmmaker that I could relate to and that I would want to work with. Um, and so I really fought hard for this part because I knew that even though it was going to be really challenging, just all the dialogue and the subject matter, 
I still felt like, well, this is a great place. These are great people to surround myself with. I mean, I, I knew that they would be nurturing and they went above and beyond, um, impressed me all the time from, you know, rehearsals to where we are now of like the great care that is being taken care of with this movie. It's, it's quite beautiful. It's not comp, that's not, that's not an everyday thing. <laughs> Two part question for Lean and for Puya. Um, and I know I, I can't wait for Puya's answer because I know it's gonna be amazing. So how much did the two of you, uh, you know, relate to the characters and what did you learn from them? What, what were you able to take away from them? Then you first. <laughs> okay, I'll go first. Um, I learned a lot about being a performance artist. I knew zero about being a performance artist. Actually, when I saw that, I was like, uh oh. <laughs> I'm not, I mean, I wasn't gonna lie to Mari and Kristen and be <laughs> like, yeah, I love performance art. But I just sort of like stayed quiet and was like, mm -mm. and luckily for me, they were very prepared and were just like, here's here's everything that you need to know. And I just sort of like immersed myself and had this crash course to the point that by the time we were filming, I was like, I'm ready to performance art. You know, um, it's been a year. I have not watched any performance art since, but I definitely felt like it opened up a world to me that previously was just very mysterious and unknown. And now I completely am, you know, very intrigued. I can't wait to go to a performance artist piece. Uh, once the pandemic is over? For me, I think it definitely questioned my femininity. Uh, not in a bad way, but it just, I knew that the character was going to look and sound different from Puya, the person. And that kind of like started me on a journey, which was how can I become this character who is probably less glamorous than I am as an actor, because this person is not an actor. This person does not live in New York or LA. This person, um, you know, has a different feeling about their identity. They're a little more shy. They're a little more uh, timid. They have a little more apology and guilt that they carry through. And one thing that I didn't want, I didn't want it to be, oh, this is just Puya in a different outfit and different hair because I knew how different the character was from who I am in those ways and where they are in their journey. And what I tried to do now, I guess the audience will have to judge for themselves, that I wanted it to be a full character work that I don't, you know, as actors, we don't get the opportunity to do a lot, but I felt that this was a great opportunity for me to really create a character who um, didn't have too many things in common with me, but had a certain common core. And I wanted how the character talks, how the character walks, how they would look at their significant other. I wanted all of that to reflect the way they see themselves and their interaction with the world around them. So hopefully I did a good job. <laughs> I can tell you that I was blown away by your performances. So that's don't don't you worry about it. You, you, you both of you did a great job, and Mary did did a great uh, an amazing job with the direction because I mean, I think I felt it was so difficult. I mean, it felt tense. I was like, okay, I'm, uh, my blood pressure is gonna go to the roof. So let me take it, they, let me let me take it down a notch here. So that that was a good thing. Two more fun, two more questions before I let you go. This one's for Marie. Marie. Um, uh, Again, the narrative, the story, the everything so intense. Uh, a lot of, a lot of, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of pieces moving between the conversation. You know, what you found was the most difficult, you know, scene to or the narrative to, to, the, you know, to, to construct when you were filming. I think, um, I think just trying to, I think we were constantly in dialogue as we were in prep and then during production, especially in post of trying to make sure that we understood the right pacing for the material, because all of it's so intrinsically linked and because it takes place over one night in some ways we really only have about like four major scenes in the entire like film, which is sort of, it, it felt, it felt uh, very intimidating to like be like, okay, like, you know, it's 
lines can be lost, but entire scenes really don't have the ability to be afforded to be lost. Um, I think anytime you work on something that you really care about, uh, at times it feels like a piece of your soul is sort of being torn out of your body and, and placed onto the page or onto the, onto the screen. Um, I think that final scene between the two characters, I think really, um, it was very difficult. I mean, it was challenging for everyone. We uh, unfortunately subjected Puya on her birthday uh, to, <laughs> to doing that scene. But it, uh, but I think we all, I mean, it was all so deeply felt between all of us. And I think what, what made it work was that we all felt those emotions and we all felt that heaviness and that extended beyond um, Puya and Lynn but, and myself, but also to like pretty much the rest of the crew. And I think we all kind of carried that, tried to carry that weight that day. And I think that's what that's what really made it work. It, yeah, it's what it's what came through when when you see the movie. When people will see the movie, they will, will they will absolutely feel that. Open question to the three of you, and I tend to in my interviews like this because I want people to get a more a perspective of, of the story and, and and from your point of view, obviously. So, and it's a difficult question. So, what? And I, I would I I, I love I love I absolutely don't know what Puja has to say because she's a trans activist. So I know I want to know what she has to say about this question. So, what do you expect or do you want people to take away from this narrative, from this story, and this conversation when they and you know, the, the movie? Maybe lean first. Um, the first movie I ever was in was a movie called Saving Face about two lesbians. Uh, in the Asian American community. And it's been 15 years and I still hear on a regular basis from people who watch the movie who have come out to their family or have used it as a form of therapy um, or entertainment. And that to me, um, to be an ally to the LGBTQ community is very important and a very important part of my identity. And um, I know that this movie is going to help trans people, trans people of color in particular, feel seen. And I could not be more honored to be a part of that. And um, I'm, I'm really looking forward to, you know, 15 years from now, getting those letters as well. Oh yeah. Uh, well, uh, it's not lost on me that I'm the first Iranian American trans actor. Uh, and sometimes that feels very sad that I'm the first one because I'm sure there were people before me, but I'm the first one who's kind of like where I am. Uh, and as Lim was saying, I also know the effect that this movie is going to have, hopefully on the culture of film, but also on a larger scale when people can see themselves. Um, when the queer community, uh, the immigrant part of the queer community can see that their story is being told with love and care, that the character is not being fetishized. It's a full character, but also beyond just the queer community being able to see themselves represented. I would like to think that the larger community can see that a trans person can have doubts and fears and desires just like anybody else. It just happens to be focused on something very specific and create a bridge that people realizing we all have problems and we're all trying to find ourselves and finding our way through. And maybe if we can all understand each other that will make it better and easier and more joyous for all of us. So as Lynn said, I would like to think that 10 years into the future, 15 years into the future, when people will look back on this, um, will realize that this had something significant and important to say in the larger scheme of things. Ari. Um, <clears throat> I, I, those were two such great answers. Um, I, I would, I, I agree. I think that one of the, um, one of the core tenets that we hoped that we could accomplish with the film was presenting a story and characters that people might not know, but within a package that feels very universal. Um, everybody can understand uh, feeling guilt over, over hurting somebody else. Everybody can feel guilt or regret over past mistakes that they might have made or things they might not evaluate till mistakes as mistakes until now. Um, I hope that people out, uh, not only within the, these communities, but also outside of it, to take a walk in these characters' shoes and really be able to like understand them a little bit better. And, and 
find that acceptance. This, I, I, before I let you go, this movie is in my to watch list on, 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 on my things to watch for the South by South Festival. I, I see that article should come out tomorrow, maybe. I don't know where that, I don't know where. I think the festival starts tomorrow, but I think that yeah. that movie is gonna is it made made the the movies to this movie made the movies to watch the must watch on the so I want to congratulate the, the three of you on an awesome job and an amazing healthy, amazing performances again all around just something else of a experience that's what I maybe want to call it and 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 again I thank you for your time it's an honor it's been an honor for me to mm -hmm. uh, be able to speak to the three of you. And I wish you and, and the best of luck. And I want, to, I want to see more of this in the future. So again, thank you. And thank you for your time. Thank you so Thanks much. You. Yeah. Thank you so Very much. much. It's wonderful.